Welcome back to Aussie Nomad. And we're uh, continuing from last time with the uh, rye crop harvest. And just need to get back down into the harvester. Uh, okay, that's ready to go. back into the trailer and get that ready to unload. Last episode we sold the silage and some eggs and made a sizable amount of money. Which was well needed. Oh, that's right, we've still got this other part of the crop that isn't ripe yet, so uh, yeah, unfortunately that could end up incurring a bit more cost because we're losing uh, the harvester and the tractor. So if we move on to another day we'll uh, incur some costs there but uh, not much we can do about that. And I have downloaded the mod for the chicken pen. Uh, so I'll just unload this harvester and look at the option of uh, replacing that and the chickens. Uh, we don't have any chicken food though. I have to be sure. So if you hear any noise in the background, it's uh, raining quite heavily. <laughs> you might hear the rain on the roof. I uh, apologise for that. And, uh, let's have a quick look. When have we had anything? Oh, we don't kind of have anything in storage, do we? No. <laughs> no, that's for sure. All right, so you'd have to buy um, some grain. Those uh, chickens don't eat, right? Pickles, wheat. Barley and sorghum. So there we go, good timing. It's not empty. I'm going to turn it off actually. And it can stay there. And I'm going to have a look. Putting the uh, a chicken chicken uh, pa chicken what chicken pasture no it's not what you call it chicken pan that'll do <laughs> now I'm in the wrong thing there uh, I don't get into that ah oh, we the farmland not construction so. You know, animals and you know, chickens and I think that's the one. Large chicken pen. Twenty thousand. Yes, that's the one. Uh, so you want to put that down here where it was before. Too bad to see the footprint for it. Uh, yep. Yeah. Hang on a Turn that around. Uh, how did we turn it around? I've forgotten. Uh, I have no idea. Can I? Oops. Uh, I'm going to do that. Uh, do that again. Chickens. Uh, where are we? Yes, there we are. There's, oh, he has to go back the same way. I thought you did it with the... Ah, there we go. Got it. So, we can put it back in exactly the same spot. No, over that's from another object. Why is that? 
Okay, it's going to want us to paint it first. So that's going to cost more money. Oh, there are some eggs there. Could that be doing it? No. No, it doesn't want to do it at all. Well, let's uh, go to landscaping and paint some, uh, no, not concrete bricks. We want grass will do, I guess. See if that fixes the issue. A bit of a big enough area there. That should do it. Nope, oh, not that one. Oh, that's not even chickens, was it? So. No, 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 no. It's still going to, not going to let us do it. And I'm not quite sure why that is. I don't know what other object could be there. It doesn't want us to put it anywhere, really. Okay. Uh, well, that's a bit annoying. All right. <laughs> We'll have to leave that for the time being. Um, I'll see if I can, uh, I'll sort that out off camera later on, but uh, we'll come back when the uh, trailer is full again. Okay, so the work is uh, finished. see if uh, we can get this to ripen by uh, increasing the time. That's the maximum. Uh, it may ripen or it may not. Anyway, I'll come back if it, uh, if it does ripen, I'll come back and we'll continue with the harvest and if it doesn't ripen, we'll have to move on to the next day. I know, so the crop didn't ripen, so we had to move on, which cost us over $3,000, so uh, that's a bit annoying. Lucky we've got a pretty healthy bank account. So all that crop should be ripe now. Uh, let's get back into the harvest. It's not showing it yet, but it does take a while to update. So that's the case. Yes, I guess. Don't have to move on the way. Oh, yeah. to reach the end of this row and uh, 
Let's see if we can top this trailer up. We're at 75%, so there should be enough in the combine to fill it up. And then we can go and sell the slater of rye, and we might have enough money to buy the next plot of land. So that's a pretty big uh, step in this, uh, in this playthrough. Silos behind the town here, we can go to the south point. It's coming up here on the right. So we have a couple of dollars to fix. There we go. And let's see how much we make. Will it be enough? I said 20, but uh, let's just have a look. If we buy that plot of land there, uh, where's the price? Now, see, oh, it's a bit hard to read. Oh, 191. I must have misread that before. Ah, okay. We can't buy that. Uh, well, we can't buy any of them. No. I was looking at the wrong figure. I couldn't see that because it was in red. Oh, so we've got uh, a way to go. Another 50,000 odd. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, we might have to. Let's get back to there. I'll get this back to the farm. I'm not going to make it up there this ride up, so I think we'll have to do another cut of grass and sell some more silage. I think that's the only way of getting it. And the second for buying another plot of land is really the only way of advancing in the game. And so that's what we need to do.
check back into the uh, track. Return that. Uh, return the header. And let's go and get this last line solved. So that would be wonderful 100%. the same mows as usual because uh, they're good and uh, they are under grass cleaner mows there we go and it is these ones and they set and it's well worth leasing these because uh, you may certainly get your money back Yeah. Keep picking the wrong button. <laughs> there we go. Got there. Uh, so that's the back one.
there's a challenge players starting to draw cards and <laughs> she got it the uh, grey by 1.2 per pile so in this case uh, I mean unless it breaks in it is much faster and there's one point more so uh, we are unfortunately still in the money we can do it but um, I think it was worth it this is the uh, nice job of all the whole lot easier than this in this pile well, I hope you got the bad news to us. I'll just go over here and just go over here. Okay, uh, okay, one more. Save the hand. I think we can have a good day. I think that's going to be out of there. do a proper count because unfortunately I switch sizes um, but it may give us some indication and I'll never re remember where that is oh it certainly isn't in this uh, menu and the rain uh, continued and we uh, seem to be always bailing in the rain as faithful to say and I didn't check the crops either uh, because uh, why that uh, silage is fermenting or the hay is fermenting into silage, we will uh, get on and uh, sow that field with something. Uh, but first up, hmm, that one, 41. I can't remember how that compared to last time, so yeah, doesn't really matter. And uh, as far as crops go, we 
I've done chickpeas, done lentils, done rye. I haven't done spelt, which is a form of wheat, I believe. Uh, or fritikari, which is another form of wheat. Prices seem much the same, and millet, which seems pretty low. Uh, not quite sure what we would do with lucerne. Um, so whether we do uh, one of these crops or not, I, I'm not sure. Um, how does spelt compare to normal wheat? Uh, Eight fifty, yeah, about the same. So I'm not sure. We probably can't feed that to chickens. So if we're going to get chickens, I'll probably. Uh, end up doing wet. So, that brings to the end of this episode. There's this park here. Yeah, so, as I said, we'll uh, sow this field with something. I'm quite sure what yet. And then, uh, while we're waiting for that to ripen, we'll uh, be selling off the silage farms. I'd say turn in silage. And then we should have enough land to buy enough land, another enough land to buy a safe. So I hope you to get back to a, a more regular schedule now. Certainly over the next few days I am hoping to do another few videos. Um, I have pretty good uh, upload speeds where I am now so it's not an issue. And uh, yeah, so thanks very much for watching and, and for your patience. Um, and uh, we'll get on with this series as uh, best we can. And I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.